Hey, how's it going in a day? This is just a super quick video on using, I'll call it the decal device, but it's just called decal in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And this is just a super quick and easy and very useful way of adding signage or messages on surfaces in your game. So let's say, you know, maybe it's not clear which way someone's supposed to go. And I want them to go, let's say to the right this way. So what I can do is if I go to the decal device right here, I can drag it onto the scene right here. And this is super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and close this content browser just to get more real estate here. So you'll see on the decal device that it's got these three arrows pointing out. And that's the direction that the decal is projecting onto. So you can think of it as a movie projector projecting onto a wall. So if I hit the space bar, and this is how I always toggle the controls. I never use WER keys. I just always use the space bar because it's just so easy. And for something like this, we do want to have snapping on rotation because what we're going to have to do to see this is we got to project it onto a surface. So I'm going to just rotate this 90 degrees this way. And you'll notice we can't see it yet, and that's because we're still not close enough. The projector doesn't have the distance. See the green box there? And in fact, if I go on the details panel, you'll see the decal distance change. It's like the projection distance of the decal. So think of decal distance as the projection distance. See, if I drag it out far enough, see how it it's now on there. So there we go. And there is the arrow. So let's say I want him to run to the right. I can go on this and just flip it over 180 degrees. And how easy is that to add signage to your game? And then in the details panel, there's a couple, let me select the device again here. You can adjust its opacity. So maybe you feel like it looks too heavy handed. It's too bright. You can dim it out a little bit by adjusting the opacity. And then you can change the color. Let's say you want it to be blue or something. So we can adjust the color to blue. And that's another thing we can do. And that's pretty much it. Now, this was confusing me. The small icon doesn't apply here when we're doing this projection. The small icon, what I found out, applies to when you're using these objective devices. This is an objective gallery. And you'll see here, there's an option for a small icon that will appear in the game. You can pick a small icon to appear alongside the whatever the objective object is you're choosing. So that's where small object comes in, small icon comes into play. It doesn't come into play when we're just trying to project to a surface. So coming back to this one here, if I click on the details panel, it doesn't matter what small icon I pick. So like I could change this one to, let's see, I'm just scrolling up. There's a ton of these. See, there, there's all these numbers, there's skulls and crossbones. That is saw uh, alien faces, see? It doesn't matter if I change it to an alien face, but if I change this one, the large icon is the one that, that matters. So let's say I change it to a candle. Is that a candle? Oh, now it's upside down. I change it to a candle. So there's that, or I can change it to, let me change it and find something else real quick here. Um, but there's just a ton of little icons. So what's, this is help, where, where this is really great is like if you're, you've, you've finished your game or you're almost done with your game and you just want to add a little more something to your game, for signage to make things clearer or to show something, this would be the way to do it. Like even a number or something like that, just to make it clearer in the game. It's really easy to do, very, very helpful, very useful. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.